Hi everyone, and welcome to yet another set of words for you. You would be able to use all these words in your daily conversations and even for various examinations that you might be appearing for. Uh, let's start with today's set of words. Our first word right here is a lucrative. Now, lucrative means producing much money or making a large profit. So if something, any proposal, any idea, any scheme is giving a lot of money to you or is making a lot of profit for you, that scheme would be a lucrative one, right? So if something is producing much money or making a large profit, you say it's lucrative, right? The owner offered the player a lucrative lifetime contract. So the contract offered by the owner to the player was going to give a lot of money to the player for lifetime, right? The merger proved to be very lucrative for both companies. That means this merger was going to give a lot of money to both the companies, right? So lucrative merger. He gave up a lucrative career as a lawyer to look after his kids. A career that could have given him a lot of money, could have made large profits for him. He gave up. That means he left that career in order to take care of his kids. <clears throat> Some people do that. So lucrative means producing much money or making a large profit, right? You can have lucrative contracts, lucrative jobs, lucrative schemes, right? Okay. Our next word right here is lure. Now, lure means to attract someone or something by a desirable quality. So if you are luring someone, that means you're attracting them by something that they really need, okay? You are giving them something they desire. You have a quality that is desirable by the other person, which will attract them towards you. So if you are attracting someone, you are luring them, right? For example, supermarket chains try to lure customers with price discounts, giving a lot of price discounts, right? You might have seen most supermarkets have, uh, you know, this 30% uh, off, 70% off, oh, 90% off, right? Or uh, prices slash take for 50%. Take on 50% off, right? So these are uh, some discounts that lure people. Lure means it attracts people to buy the product, right? Because otherwise, without uh, off, without discounts, people don't really get attracted towards the product. But when they see, oh, this product was for this much, but now it's for this much. So this lures them in, right? This attracts them. We were attracted by the lure of quick money, right? So the idea of earning money quickly, anyone can be attracted by it, right? So we were attracted by the lure of quick money. He attempted to lure her away from husband and family. So some guy tried to attract a girl who was already married, had a family, right? So he tried to attract her towards him right, because of uh, some qualities that he was having or faking, she was getting attracted. So, lure means to attract someone or something by a desirable quality, right? That is lure. Lurid. Now, lurid means shocking because it involves violence, sex, or immoral activities, right? So if something is lurid, it is said to be an adjective for shocking, right? But shocking because it is involving gory things, right? Gory details, for example, murder, violence, and things that are immoral, things that you should not have done, right? You can read all the lurid details of the affair in today's paper. That means you can read all the details about why this affair was shocking, 
how it involved violence or anything immoral, right? So lurid details, shocking details. Why shocking? Because it involved immoral activities. She told me all the lurid details of her divorce. That means her divorce had some shocking details, which she told to the other person, right? The king had been putting about lurid rumors for months. Now, the king had been putting about some shocking rumors about him for months, right? He had been taking care of some shocking rumors. So lurid is something that's shocking. But why is it shocking? Because it's filled with violence and other immoral activities, right? So that's lurid. Magnanimity. Now, magnanimity means kindness and generosity right or willingness to forgive someone so you are like a magna like you are in extreme right so a magnanimity it means you are really kind you're really generous right or you just forgive people like that you are always willing to forgive someone right I hope they're not talking about me. All right. So magnanimity is another word for kindness and generosity, right? Or a willingness to forgive someone is also a person's magnanimity, right? She's a person of great magnanimity and vision, right? So you can see magnanimity is like an abstract noun. It's a replacement for kindness. So kindness is an abstract noun, right? So magnanimity is also abstract noun. So someone can be a person of great magnanimity. He showed magnanimity and generosity of spirit, right? That means she showed kindness and generosity in her spirit. We hope the new government will show wisdom and magnanimity. Now, we are hoping that the new government will show wisdom, they'll show decision-making, which is wise, right? And also, it'll, the new government will show generosity right, towards the citizens. So, magnanimity is kindness and generosity or a willingness to forgive some. Maladroit, right? Now, maladroit means awkward in movement or unskilled in behavior or action, right? Some people are very awkward when they move or they are unskilled in their behaviors or actions. They would just not uh, be composed and sit formally. They most of the time behave awkwardly. So she can be a little maladroit in social situations. That means she's a bit awkward in her uh, sitting ways and, uh, you know, movement when she is in social situations, sitting with people, right? His handling of the negotiations was maladroit. That means the way he handled the negotiations was awkward, was unskilled. Right? It did not seem like he was experienced in dealing with such negotiations. So he was unskilled in his behavior or action. Some of his first interviews with the press were rather maladroit. That means some of the first interviews were very unskilled and seemed like he was awkward there. He was a bit uh, maybe nervous. Maybe he didn't know how to place his hands, how to move his neck or how to keep eye contact. Right? So he was maladroit. He was awkward in movement or unskilled in behavior or action. Right, That's maladroit. Right? Mal is itself uh, showing that something is irregular. Right, So if we say malabsorption, that means it's not properly absorbed. Right, So a mal word, you can remember, shows that something is not correct. Right. All right. A next word, malign. Now, causing or intending to cause harm or evil or defame, slander someone is malign, right? If you are causing or you're intending to cause harm to someone, right? For example, foreign domination 
had a malign influence on local politics. That means the foreign domination was causing the local politics uh, like harm. It was causing harm to the local politics, right? She describes pornography as a malign industry, as an industry that would cause harm to people, right? She has been maligned in the gossip columns of several newspapers. That means she has been defamed, right? She has been said bad stuff about in the gossip column of several newspapers. So malign is causing harm to someone, maybe causing harm to someone's fame, or you can say defaming someone is malign you know how all these people are pointing fingers at this guy and he's sad so they're defaming or slandering him right all right malignant malignant means evil or injurious in intent could also say it's injurious in effect or character now if someone is having a malignant tumor Generally, we hear this term in uh, biology, right, in medicine. So she developed a malignant breast tumor. That means um, tumors, which are cancerous sometimes, right? So a tumor in a body can either be benign. That means it's always going to stay where it is or malignant. That means it might move from its position of occurrence to some other position right, to some other area in the body. So if a malignant breast tumor is there, that means the tumor can move from the breast area to some other area in the body, right? So it's very harmful, right? He developed a malignant hatred for the land of his birth, right? So he developed a very evil hatred or he had a severe hatred for his birthplace, right? The pathologist's report said the tumor was malignant. Right? So the tumor had injurious effects. It can harm the person's body. Right? So malignant is anything that could harm a person right? or is evil in intent. Right? That is malignant. All right. Malleable might have done this in science somewhere in school. Two things, malleable and ductile, right? Must have heard ductile also. Malleable means any person, if I say in terms of a person, someone who is easily influenced or controlled, right? You can, uh, you know, shape them the way you want. You can uh, mold that person the way you want them to be. So that is malleable. For non-living things, you can say... Any object which can be easily changed into a new shape, right? You can uh, use hammer to change the shape of gold. Therefore, gold is malleable, right? Lead and tin are malleable metals. That means you can easily change them into new shapes, right? Or if you want to say someone is easily influenced or controlled, then they are malleable in nature, right? Europe saw its Europe saw its colonies as a source of raw material and a malleable workforce. That means a workforce that can be easily controlled is a Europe is what Europe saw, right? That the colonies they were ruling, they saw that the colonies were source of raw material as well as they were easily influenced. Whatever they used to tell them, they would, you know, go by according to what the Europeans said. The young are more malleable than the old. That means youngsters can be controlled better than, uh, you know, older people. You can't really uh, trick older people easily because they have the wisdom and experience of years, right? So malleable, if you want to describe a person, someone who is easily influenced or controlled. And for objects, you can say things which can easily change into new shapes. That is malleable, right? All right. A next word right here is manacle, right? A manacle is a shackle for the hand or wrist, something which was used as a restraint, right? So for prisoners, for people who were put in prisons, 
these uh, shackles, these um, restraints were used in order to, you know, restrict the movement of the criminal. So they are called as manacle. They had manacled her legs together. That means they had restrained her legs using this device together. Right Now she can't move. Her legs are like by this device. This device was around her legs and now she can't. Nothing can manacle me because I'm free. That means nothing can shackle me down. Nothing can restrain me. Right. So if you want to say nothing can manacle me, if you're saying, that means you're saying nothing can bind me, nothing can stop me. Right. They had been imprisoned, manacled and mishandled. They were put in prison. They were, uh, you know, restrained by these shackles, these uh, devices, and they were also not treated well. So, manacle is used to show that someone is restrained using these shackles, either on hands or on legs. You can also say that manacled means you are restrained. If not by a device, but in general. Maybe you are manacled by society's rules. So, you can also say that you are restrained by society's rules. All right. Our next word. Meager, right? So, meager means low in quantity or in extent, strength or richness. If something is low in quality or quantity, you can say it's meager. Could be low in strength, could be low in richness, extent, quantity. Or in other words, we can say something that's scanty or feeble, right? Feeble is just another word for weak. The food at my grandma's house was meager and barely edible. Meager means it was, the you know, at grandma's house, the food was very low in quantity. It was meager. You know how we say a meager salary? That means it's a low salary. The salary is low in amount. And barely edible. Couldn't have eaten it. He supplements his meager income by working on Saturdays, right? So he supplements his meager income, his low income, by working extra on Saturdays. His meager allotment of gas had to be saved for emergencies. So his allotment of gas was very low, right? That's why he had to save it for emergencies. So meager means less, right? Meager right. salary. Meager food, meager supplements, meager, um, you know, meager uh, anything, any food, any drink, some anything which is less in quantity or quality, right? Scanty, you can say it's meager, right? All right, time to revise. You just did the word meager. Meager means something that is low in quantity, extent, strength, or richness. You can also say meager is synonymous to scanty or feeble, right? So if anything is less in number or amount or in quality, right? It's not as rich, not as strong as something else, then it's meager, right? For example, the food can be meager. Supplements can be meager, right? Okay. Then manacle. Manacle is a shackle, a device for the hand or wrist. Something which is used as a restraint, right? Something which is used to bind someone. You can use Manacle to say that it's a noun, you know, uh, it's a device. You can also use manacle as a verb that someone was manacled. That means they were restrained. You know, I was manacled by my uh, society's uh, opinions. Right. So manacled is a verb as well as manacle is a noun. Right. It can be used as a device. So they had manacled her legs. That means they had restrained her by uh, putting this manacle around her legs. Right. Or he was, uh, you know, having a manacle around his wrists. That means that object manacle was around his wrists, right? So basically, manacle is related to being bound by a device or restrained, right? Malleable. Malleable means easily influenced or controlled. 
we can also say uh, anything which is easily changed into new shape is malleable. Now, malleable can be used either for a person, right, uh, or for an object. If you're using it for a person, you can say someone who is easily influenced or controlled is malleable. But if something can be changed into a new shape, an object, if it can be changed into a new shape, you say it's malleable, right? So certain metals are malleable, like gold, lead, tin. You can easily hammer them to change their shape. And if someone is easily controlled, for example, the young people nowadays, right? They are easily influenced by social media. That means the youngsters are malleable, right? Malignant. Malignant is an adjective to say that something is evil or injurious in intent, effect or character, right? For example, tumors in body, when we say someone is having a cancer, so cancer is basically a tumor, right? So if the tumor is malignant, it means the tumor is injurious in character and effect, right? It is going to harm the entire body of the person. Right. So if it spreads from that one point to any other point, that means it is malignant and uh, being malignant means it's injurious. Now, uh, someone can have malignant hatred also. Malignant hatred means that their hatred is very evil in intent. They are strongly hating something. Right? So malignant hatred. Malign, malign means causing or intending to cause harm or evil, right? So if you are trying to cause harm to someone, you're trying to defame someone or slander someone, right? That means spoil their image, defame them. So you are maligning, okay? So some people, you know, malign uh, others in gossip columns in newspapers, right? Some editors do that. So that is malign, right? Maladroit means being awkward in movement or unskilled in behavior or action, right? So if you don't know how to sit, talk, uh, stand, keep your hands, like uh, when you're in a social situation and you're just like, where do I keep my hands? Where do I look? Right? So you are maladroit in social situations. Also, if someone is not able to deal with a certain interview, negotiation, conversation in a formal, composed manner, then you can call them maladroit. Then also, right? That means they're unskilled in behavior. They should be showing how skilled they are, but they couldn't, so they are unskilled. Okay. Magnanimity, it means kindness and generosity or willingness to forgive someone, right? So if someone is having great magnanimity, that means they are super kind and super generous, right? That is magnanimity. Lurid. Lurid is an adjective to show that something is shocking. Why is it shocking? Because it involves violence, sex, or immoral activity. Now, lurid details of a recent uh, news piece, right? That means shocking details, details that no one could believe. Why is it shocking? Because it's filled with violence and immoral activities, right? Lurid details of a divorce, that means details, shocking details of a divorce, right? Why are they shocking? Because they are involved <clears throat> with the violence or anything immoral, right? So that is lurid. Lure. Lure means to attract someone, right? How? By having something desirable. Okay. So supermarkets lure people by discounts, right? That means they attract people by offering discounts, right? You can also say um, we were attracted by the lure of quick money. That means we were attracted by the desire of quick money, right? So lure means to attract someone by offering something that is desirable. That's something that they might need. Lucrative. Lucrative means something that produces much money or makes a large profit, right? So if any scheme, any project, any company, any career, job 
is going to offer you a lot of money or will produce a lot of money in future or will give a large profit to you, you can say it's a lucrative deal. So lucrative deal, lucrative job, lucrative contract, right? So you can define all the uh, all these schemes as lucrative, right? Anything that produces a lot of money or makes a lot of profit. Okay? So thank you for watching.